Okay, to close off for a week, I wanted to give kind of my final initial thoughts on the game. Obviously, I'm still going to keep playing it. I am enjoying it overall, but I wanted to close out uh, Forza Week for the new Forza with just the final initial thoughts in the game. Um, I've been playing it for a few days now. Um, not consistently, but fairly consistently. I did multiplayer. I never did a video multiplayer because I kind of got in there and then I was like, yeah, this is, this is just, this is just multiplayer. Um, but you know, just slightly improved. This, this is just, it's just improved Forza Motorsport multiplayer. So I never did a video, but it just wasn't really too exciting. Um, events are good, but it just wasn't really worth making a video to me. So I never never did that like I said I would. So um, that's fine. I did something else instead. So um, that I found to just be more exciting and more fun. Just drive some, drive some cars that I like. So um, we'll talk about that uh, when we get to multiplayer. I have a list. I wrote out a list of things I want to talk about and we're going to get into it. So to start out with, the thing that everybody seems to care about most, because now that I've actually gotten into the game, I've started like looking at things that people care about um, and, uh, and other videos on YouTube about the game. And people were really mad about the car list. Um, and you know what? I, I think the car list, I think the car list is, got, is good. I think the car list is fine. It's a good starter car list. 529 cars is uh, what I think it's what I think it is, uh, but it's good. It's a good car list. Leaves lots of room for them to add more cars, whether it's like through DLC paid content or just like they did with um, the Horizons through like Forza Thought events. You have to earn the cars. Um, they have uh, what is it like the track tour, which are seem to be like featured events that change out every week um, or or. Well, every month they put in like four. I looked at that, did a video on that, um, which I'm not sure if that's what it is. It seems to be because there's a reward at the end, but there's also rewards at the end of the normal career events, um, which is where I found the Lexus LFA, thank God. Um, so um, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not too sure um, what will happen with that. We'll see in a month if uh, when all those events kind of end and maybe they add in new ones, but I, I don't know. I honestly, I have no idea. And, um, but you know, they've already said that they'll add more cars over time. I think 529 is good. There's some cars that returned uh, from Forts after being gone for a while. There's some new cars that we've never seen before. Subaru Lavorg, race car, epic car. Uh, they should bring the normal one, the Horizon. Uh, I think the Lavorg's a great car. Honestly, they should bring the fucking Lavorg to, to America. I, I, I would have, I would have bought, I would, honestly would have bought one of those. I think a lot of people would have. Um, but on, uh, anyway, uh, it leaves uh, a lot of space for more to come. Uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I believe that Forza Motorsport. A lot of people. Uh, a lot of people have said this. I'm not. This isn't a unique uh, belief to me. Uh, opinion to myself. Uh, but um, since this isn't Forza Motorsport 8, this is Forza Motorsport. This is like a definitive game of sorts. In my in, in my opinion, a lot of other people's opinion. Uh, this is going to be around for a while. Years are going to continue to update it, improve it add more content. They're bringing Nürburgring back to 2024. We'll talk about tracks. Um, they're bringing more cars. They've already said they're going to bring more cars. Um, so just people need to be patient. People need to wait. Uh, 529 cars at launch is nothing to scoff at. It's a lot. Go have fun with what's there and then wait for more to come. There's plenty of things to mess around with. Um, as far as cars go, tracks, also a good track list. No Nürburgring, no, no Nordschleife, but Plenty of tracks. I know I made a whole video being like, there's no, there's no Nürburgring. Um, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I just, I made that video like in the moment, like literally in the moment, um, being just upset about that. But like days later, I'm like, you know, I'm chill. I'm fine. <laughs> it'll come eventually. And I'm sure it'll, I'm sure maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Bold claim saying they'll make the best version or whatever of the, nor of the green hell that's ever come to a video game. I mean, it's, uh, you know, they're most accurate or whatever they said, but I'm sure they'll add more tracks besides that and more content, just like they'll add more cars. I don't know, you know, but more content will come, whether it's paid, free, who knows? It's on Game Pass. This is Microsoft, one of Microsoft's babies. I don't think they'll just let it die. Um, and if they do, bring back Project Gotham, Project Gotham Racing, for fuck's sake. Um, the career or the, the Builders Tour, or whatever the hell it is. Um, there's like five cups or whatever. There, there's like five things. 
uh, whatever, you know, um, oh my god, holy shit, um, uh, da, 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 there's, like, five, I'm getting there, there's five tours, and then, like, five events per, uh, with, like, rewards at the end, and I think that's, like, you know, pretty good, um, and honestly, five tours with, like, five series and five races per, that's, like, a decent amount, but it still seems less than there were in previous games, um, it's fine, you know, I think maybe they were trying, since, like, online gaming is where the market is now, I think they're trying to lean heavily on that, maybe they'll add more in the future, I don't know, there's also the track tour, which is part of the, um, which is part of the, um, career, technically, um, actually, I don't know if track tour is going to be a permanent, I don't know if, I, I'm calling it track tour, because that's the one that's here, I don't know if that's what it's permanently called. It's the featured. The featured um, thing, which I think this might be like the the Forza-thon, kind of, because it's a reward at the end, and I feel like the reward will probably change um, every month. Right now, it's like an Acura GT prototype type car. I don't know what all the race cars are called. I just watch them when they show up on, on, on the... Um, racing channels um on youtube so it's cool it's great um a great way to do that um to get to keep the career fresh and maybe let's add new tours in the builders cup i don't know but we shall see right um new content maybe who knows career seems kind of small but it is enough and i'll probably play through them all just like i've done in the past um just because right um, great way to level up cars, buy cars, get money. That's the point of the game, right? Um, uh, do, do, do. Next thing, the UI, the menus. Simple. <clears throat> it's not a big thing, uh, but a simple menu is an important thing. Microsoft is big on like accessibility. They have special controllers, um, ex accessibility controllers. Uh, so Microsoft is like big on like kind of keeping things um, simple, you know, they have the first thing, one of the first things that pops up when you first start the game is, um, you know, accessibility options. So I feel like a, a simple menu is like a big thing or would have been a big thing for them. And th they've done it. You know, I'm, I changed a lot of things. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that, but I changed a lot of things for the game and going, I've played some games where the menus are just like really stupid and maybe I'm just a stupid person. But the menus can be kind of like in video games, especially with how many options there are in games, especially in PC gaming, can be kind of like weird to navigate, difficult. This game's not. Simple, easy, whatever, done. Next thing. Um, going into that, though, based off what I just said, way too much shit on screen. When you first start playing the game, you hop into a race, way too much shit on screen. Um, you got your segment score, you got your driver level every like two seconds, you got your, um, you got like, you know, it just used to be you have a, a speedometer in your position and maybe a race, a, a track map if you wanted that. Now there's way too much stuff. Everything's like popping up every two seconds. I'm way too ADHD for that. I, I can't help but look at that. Maybe some people can just focus on their car, focus on their opponents and the corners. That's what I would love to be able to do. But with all this other stuff all over the screen popping up, moving... I can't do that. I cannot do that. You got like you got your crew chief talking to you, subtitles popping up. Can't do that. Turned all that stuff off. I, I just couldn't help it. I can't. Luckily, the menus were easy, so I was able to <laughs> able to turn all that stuff off, no problem. But oh my god, way too much. Um, I will get into my thoughts on all that stuff what, later on, but holy, holy shit. Um, wow. Okay, so um, upgrade system. So in one of my videos, I was talking about how the upgrade system is crazy and stupid. That was a quick upgrade system, which kind of goes into my thoughts about like, is this a arcade racer? Is it a sim racer? I feel like the 
quick upgrade system and then like the XP and the segment scores and all that stuff kind of lean more towards arcade racer. But then, you know, you have the qualifying rounds and multiplayer and you have the practice rounds or the practice laps and any race you do that kind of leans more towards sim racing. Right. And, you know, how the car handles, how the, the driving feel and like a lot of stuff that they just worked pretty, I, I probably pretty hard on over the years leans more towards sim racing. Um, I, I just kind of feel like they don't really know what they're trying to go for. They're trying to appeal to both like the casual gamer and the car enthusiast, the people who want the, a casual racing experience and a sim racing experience. And honestly, there are times when I could go for either or, and obviously like this game allows you to kind of go for both, but then there's like aspects of the game that you can't really get rid of that just kind of keep, that leave you stuck in the middle. And it's kind of frustrating at times. Like, I, I love that the game will let you play in, like, a sim racing aspect, but, like, a mild sim racing as like, mild sim racer. But then there's also kind of aspects that, like, if you want an arcade, more a more arcade-style racer, but, like, on real racetracks, and you can go for that. But, like, you're kind of stuck in the middle, and it's kind of frustrating. Uh, the, arc the upgrade system, where you have to use, like, these car points and you're just like, it just feels kind of like, it almost feels like I'm playing, um, it almost feels like I'm playing like a legitimate arcade game where it's just like, scroll and click, scroll and click, scroll and click, very like, haphazardly. It kind of just leans very arcade no matter what. And eh, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I, I like the, the manual upgrade system more than the quick upgrade system because I like to be able to choose what I'm doing. Um, and look at what I'm doing. And then like the tuning system, they've added like some things. They've added a couple options. They've added a couple options to the upgrade system too. Um, a couple upgrade options that weren't there before either in Horizon or Motorsport. Um, same thing with tuning, like you can adjust your steering angle for drift. Um, they've added like ballast so you can actually add weight to your car if you're too high in class, uh, which is great. But like, it still feels more arcadey then sim racer because you're just kind of point and click point and click, like scroll and click scroll and click that kind of thing is good for horizon it doesn't feel very motorsport for me um so i don't know um driving feel they've improved on it. driving feels always been really good um it always gives you motorsport and even horizon forts in general has always been really good at giving you like a really good feel for driving you can be going 40 40 60 and you always just feel like you're going really quick um, they've done a really good job with like the motion blur and the shake of the camera. Um, just a uh, really good like feel for speed, um, even at lower speeds. And it's not like overbearing, you know, there's some games um, where it's just like, it's just too much. They found the right balance of like giving you, um, no matter what camera you're in, and even in, now you can even adjust your field of view, which is, which I think is cool, in different cameras. Um, for like, you know, the feel for speed, no matter what speed you're at, what car you're in, maybe in a low like D-class or whatever um, um, car and you can still feel, get a good feel for speed, no matter what camera angle, camera view you're in. And I think that's great. Um, and the rain, the different weathers, I remember I was doing a race, uh, I was doing a career event at Watkins Glen in a Mini Cooper and the rain started out low, and just kind of like a, kind of a lighter, it was sprinkling, I mean, it was coming down a little, coming down, but then it kind of got more and more as the race progressed, and I think that system's really good. I mean, I thought I was, like, imagining things, I was like, no, the, the rain's definitely coming down um, quite a bit, um, so I thought that was really cool. I think I might have footage of that, I'll put that in if I do, um, but yeah, no, that was definitely really cool. Car sounds, always been a controversial issue for Forza. Some people have said they sound bad, other people are like, oh, they, don't, they sound fine to me. You know, in the earlier ones, it, I was bothered by how, like, if I put an exhaust on the car, if I put a turbo on the car, it doesn't sound any different. Um, since they've kind of fixed that issue, I've never really had a problem with it. Other people are like, these cars, this car doesn't sound like how it's supposed to sound. That, like, when people, like, mention that, I was like, oh, yeah, that does sound bad. I've, I've always been a fan of, like, Foley art and effects um, in movies and games. Um, so I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm into like the whole sound effects and making sure things are sound how they should and sound proper. Um, the timing is right on certain things. This game I think has done a pretty good job at, at nailing that. I, I've been paying kind of close attention to um, the sound of different cars 
and I think they've done a pretty good job. Uh, I think they've paid attention to people's complaints about their sound in the past, and I think they've done a pretty good job at, at getting the sound right um, on different cars. I haven't messed around too much with like forced induction of cars that don't have it stock, um, but as far as cars go with like different exhausts, I think they sound pretty good. Um, even like racing in the rain, I think, you know, cars going through rain versus cars going on dry, um, dry tarmac sounds great. Cars scraping together, um, cars going over um, apexes, you know, bumpy apexes, you get that little scrape, you get that little rattle. Cars, when you start doing weight reduction or um, race cars, they just kind of have like that rattlier sound because they just don't have the sound deadening. I think they've done a really great job um, as far as that goes. So the sound effects, pretty good. As good as like a racing game I feel like could be, or it has a right to be, I think, or as, as good as we have a right to expect, I think they've gotten pretty close. Um, multiplayer, not much to say there. It's, it's multiplayer. I did the qualifier, I did one other event, or I did the qualifying rounds, and then I did one other event. It was good. You know, the qualifiers, I, I feel like, just to kind of ma uh, get a feel for your matchmaking is why you have to do them. Um, dealt with quite a bit of ramming there, because <laughs> obviously there's going to be rammers, that's why they do it. And I still feel like it's kind of, like, if you're getting, like, hit and bumped around, um, it's going to be kind of poorly matchmade. And then I, you know, got put into a lobby where there was a lot less of it. I think it kind of takes into account the fact that you're not doing it. I'm not that kind of racer. Uh, but that's also why I just didn't, um, I didn't um, make a video out of it because it was just kind of like a lot of, uh, it was one on Laguna Seca um, and then one on, I forgot what the other track was, uh, I forgot what the other two tracks were, I don't know, I did them later last night, I forgot what they were, but whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and then I did one in, in the IMSA Audi um, after that. And the IMSA Audi race was actually pretty good. Um, came in fifth in that. It was a good time. But it's just, it's it's online Forza. You know, you, you, do, you, you do your qualifying laps and then you wait and then you can do more practice, uh, which obviously I did in the Audi because it's just a great car to drive. You can choose your tire compound. There's there's pit if you want. You can choose your fuel. It's, it's basically like, you know, it's, it's very similar to... Um, it's very similar to just, um, single player, except there's qualifier, um, to come and choose your, your place. And, and that's, that's about it. Uh, I have nothing bad to say, but I, I also don't have anything necessarily good to say. Um, it's just, it's just online racing. It's a good time. I'll probably, I'll probably do some, um, in my, uh, I'll probably do some more. Um, also, speaking of that, I've been thinking of dusting off my old Twitch that I used some years ago. Um, the link will maybe be in the description, probably be um, on the main description of my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. No set schedule or anything like that if I'm ever on there. Just, you know, probably do some Need for Speed, maybe some Forza. I don't know, just, you know, live live thing of, of Forza, maybe play with some people some subscribers or some some people who are following me i don't know um but check that out uh just been thinking about doing that uh so yeah uh it's a good time multiplayer it just it's nothing super special or groundbreaking about it um so kind of going into final thoughts um i could tell they kind of like wanted to lean harder into sim racing but they were kind of afraid to like alienate the casual audience because obviously they're putting it on game pass um there's good potential for expansion especially since they've made this like a definitive title and like i keep saying they, they put it on game pass so they just want to get as many they want to get this onto the xboxes and the computers of as many people as possible so they're not quite sure what to do with it because they don't want to alienate the car enthusiasts you play but they don't want to um alienate the casual gamer either so it's just kind of like what do they do what do we do we just try to do everything and it's just kind of you know it's 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 a little bit confusing of a game it's it's a confused game itself i guess 
but be that as it may, it's still a good time. It's still a fun time. I see, I see myself enjoying this game because it is still just a racing game, and there's a lot of good cars here. Uh, there's a lot of good cars, a lot of good tracks, and that's realistically all I care about. <laughs> At the end of the day, that is all I care about. It's just driving fun cars on fun tracks, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my final thoughts. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around for Forza Week. Um, if you want to check out my Twitch, go ahead. In the meantime, just like and subscribe. Uh, liking and subscribing this video and to my channel on here would be great. Um, and I sure appreciate it. Thanks and have a good day.